What up, Bermuda? This is Vote Trivia. I'm your host, Tyree. You're locked into the Vote. You know what we do. We go around the town asking questions, keeping it simple, no pressure. But before I ask some questions, I'm a little bit parched, been wearing this mask, so I need something to drink. Handy dandy, Roy Bean. No, I'm ready. Matter of fact, I just saw some young bulls pulling up on some wheelers. Let's go ask them some questions. All right. All right. So I saw, found a few, few you, sir. Um, but you guys are ready to answer some questions. Yeah. 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 All right. So question number one: Which of these is a word in Spanish? Is it A. Sayonara, B. Schnitzel, or C. Sombrero? A. A. Sayonara. A. Sayonara. A. Sayonara. A. Sayonara. Any of you guys know what that means in Spanish? Goodbye. Goodbye. No. Later. Later. Goodbye. See you later. All of the above, I'm checking out. I think I found my most decorated contestant today. KW Keyvest all the way. Whoop, whoop. Bullet, bullet. Hey, no, 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 no. But anyway, how I do the quarantine? I said, hey, I had some runners go to the shop. Okay, well, there you have it. That sounds like it was okay. You, you, yeah, yeah. you I made managed, it. I managed it very well. Well, are you ready to answer some questions today? Uh, sure. Okay, well, question number one. Sure. Which of these words, which of these is a word in Spanish? Is it A, sayonara, B, Schnitzel or C Sombrero Sonora and and C A and C A and C Sayonara and Sombrero Yeah Sombrero is a hat for Mexico but they were in Mexico I don't normally do this but should I tell her is only one? I'm here with three beautiful ladies but you guys are ready to answer some questions today? Alright question number one which of these is a word in Spanish? Is it A, sayonara, B, schnitzel, or C, sombrero? Sombrero. Sayonara. Sayonara. You guys care to tell me what either of those words mean in sp Spanish? Um, hat. What, sombrero? Yeah. Hat. Sayonara is it goodbye? Deuces. Yes. No. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. We found another contestant and how lockdown treated you. This lockdown treat me terrible. It was devastating, to be honest. Sounds like the story of many. Sounds like the story of many. But we want to turn things around today. And I want to ask you some questions. You ready? Sure. Question number one. Which of these words, which of these is a word in Spanish? Is it A, sayonara, B, schnitzel, or C, sombrero? Um, A. A, sayonara. You know what that means in Spanish? No, uh, not really. Me either. We found another contestant. How you doing today, sir? Nope, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. All right, so question number one. Which of these is a word in Spanish? Is it A, sayonara, B, schnitzel, or C, sombrero. Sombrero. S sayonara or sombrero. Sayonara. Sayonara. You know what that means in Spanish? Adiosa. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. Question number two. Okay. What color pearl would you look for at a bus stop if you're going to Hamilton? Um, a blue pearl. Blue pearl. Yeah, a blue pill. Blue. I don't take the bus. Pink. <laughs> um, pink? I don't know. Rubber Troy is either pink or blue, right? <laughs> Yo, the pink. Pink. Pink all the way. Uh, a pink, I think? Blue. Blue? Pink? Somebody's right. What up, players? 
Before we move on to those next questions, we want to get our online players involved. Oh, you didn't know you could play online? Well, all you have to do is follow at Bermedia Vote TV on Instagram and keep it locked. Vote operator, what's those online results looking like? Bermuda's most prominent answer for question number one was C, Sombrero, with 122 people getting that correct, and just 29 getting it incorrect. And for question number two, Pink was the most prominent answer, with 94 people getting that correct, and 55 people getting it incorrect. So well done, Bermuda. For those of you who didn't know, Sombrero is Spanish for hat, Sayonara is goodbye in Japanese, and schnitzel is a thin piece of meat fried in fat. Bet you didn't know that. Now let's take it back to the streets. I knew that. Why well, you didn't tell me? Because I didn't know. <laughs> Question number three. What does ATM stand for in regards to banking? Yeah, that's a good question. I never knew that. That's a good question. ATM? ATM. I ain't sure on that ATM. You want to take a a, a, a best guess? Uh, and there's something to do with the machine to get your money out and stuff like that. But I'm not sh quite sure what ATM means. What's the ex 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 uh, What does ATM stand for in regards to banking? I'm lost now. Yo, Spanish point right now. Order, um, order title machine. You want to say, speak it confidently, loudly, and into the camera. Auto or talent machine. Yeah, no snitching out there, okay? Automatic talent machine. <laughs> Automatic talent machine. Automatic talent machine. Can I borrow something from your ATM? Definitely. Remember, right what's spreading love? ATM is where you could draw cash, a amount of cash. Yeah, ATM stands for something. A dot T dot M dot. Oh, to be honest, I didn't really look into it, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Account transfer market. Um, account transferring machine or something. Pretty close, pretty close. ATM actually stands for automatic teller machine. Question number four. When you combine hydrogen and oxygen, you create what? Uh, oxygen. Maybe. You combine hydrogen and oxygen. I'm not too sure about that one. Best guess? I said oxygen. I had not know. Carbon, I don't know. Carbon, one of the two. Some, some type of element. You're on the right track. When you combine hydrogen and oxygen, you create what? Um, you create like a small, like, explosion, cold air. Don't do it around me, because I don't want to die from that explosion. H2O? Uh, no. I don't want to think. <laughs> um, um, I know, that's not me. Um, I, I wasn't a very um, talented, I mean, smart kid at school. Yeah, it's school's not over. Trust me, you got a long time to make up for it. Uh, I'm confused right now too, people. <laughs> but you know, I'm gonna keep moving. I don't have a clue on that one. I'm sorry. I'm not good in science. That's giving me the H2O. I'm good to go. I think you 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 got it, but you're you're misleading yourself. Skip. That's not an option. Phone a friend, please. Ain't, <laughs> ain't you her with your friends? <laughs> Phone a smarter friend. <laughs> They don't make them like they used to. The audience, please. The audience. Uh, we're on the beach, everyone's swimming. So, what's your, your best guess? Um, water? No, that's H2O. That's, that's hydrogen, hydrogen and oxygen. And an oxygen. But ain't it, he just said a hydrogen oxygen. He didn't say how much of each. First of all, we would like to say, for the people who skip, sure have a lot of input <laughs> when the answers are coming out. Um, not water. It's not water, so... I Can't be! I was going to say hydroxide, but I don't know. Hydroxide. Hydrogen. Drug and... I, this confused me. Water. Water. Question number five. Where is the highest point in Bermuda located? Devil's Hill, all the way. 
Oh, having to sun area. The hill, the hill area, like the sun, the water, like is it circle? No, um, Napton Hill area. Napton Hill. That's Not a Napton Hill. Um, oh Lord of Mercy. This just assaulted me, people. This just assaulted me. Well, I'm a tongue. I'm KW. I don't know nothing about that side of the country. Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. Gotta be Southampton. Southampton. You been up there before? Yeah, I used to live up there. See everything, right? Yes, sir. Here we go. Where is the highest point in Bermuda located? The Bay House. Which one? Um, um, Southampton. Gibbs Hill. Yes. Yes, yes. Gibbs Hill. Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. I don't know, but I feel you're just agreeing with them because you're trying to make it. Tawn Hill. Tawn Hill? She said, she said my goals. Napton Hill. Napton Hill. Uh, um, St. Davis Lighthouse. St. Davis Lighthouse. St. Davis Lighthouse, I think. St. Davis Lighthouse. Tawn Hill. Tawn Hill. The um, Southampton Lighthouse, I think. The highest point is up by Lighthouse. Up by the Lighthouse or at the Lighthouse? At the Lighthouse. Gotta be. You need to see. Lighthouse lights up the whole island, right? When, you know, dark time. You need to see the little... The the answer is Tarn Hill. Yes. That's solid. You knew that. You knew that. You're from there? No. How you knew that answer? I don't know. I'm just smart. What's up, everybody? You're watching Vote Trivia. We're about to get into this bonus question. Hopefully, those of you playing along at home are hanging in there, but it can't be. By no way. Um, we're going to get into these online results. Vote operator, how Bermuda did? Wow, Mr. Get Educated on you. Bermuda has spoken, and for question number three, automatic slash automated talent machine dominated with over 80 people getting it correct. For question number four, the majority ruled with over 70 people choosing water as the answer, again getting it correct. And for question number five, Town Hill and Flats was the answer that most of the players sent in, with over 60 people getting that one correct. All right, Bermuda, sounds like you did all right. So let's get back into this bonus question. Keep it locked. Bonus question, this one takes all the beans. When someone types the acronym IKR, you know, when someone's taxing you and all that good stuff, what does it stand for? IKR. IKR. Ike. Ike. Or something like that. Ike. Ike. When someone types the acronym IKR, you know when someone's taxing you, and they say IKR, what does it stand for? Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Where are you, Ronnie Corner? I don't know. I don't really don't know. I am right here standing with you. I don't really don't know what that's what it means. I know, right? Bonus question. When someone types the acronym IKR, you know when you're taxing and someone says IKR, mm -hmm. what does it stand for? I know right. I know right. That's what it means. I, I know right. Are you? Yes. There you have it, folks. <laughs> Confident man. Bonus question, last question. This one takes all the beans. When someone types the acronym IKR, you know, when they're taxing, what does that mean? I know, right? I don't know. I know, right? I don't know. I know, right? It seems that everybody knows, right? There you have it, folks. Another episode of Vote Trivia. We're locked into the vault. Still practicing social distancing, so. I want to say shout out to Ribena for doing a great job and we love you. Thank you, Ribena. And I'm locked into the vote. I'm locked into the vote. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ribena. We're locked into the vote. Thank you, Ribena. And thank you to the vote. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep it locked. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. See you in the streets. Until then, keep it locked.